Josh, I haven't seen you out since, uh, well, can't remember the last time you were out here. Uh, it's right out here. So, I'm going to assume that you're probably out here to be productive and make videos, is, is that correct? Actually, no. I actually came out here just to look for you, since I didn't find you in the house. Oh, uh, yes, well... It would appear so. I thought you were going on tour. What happened to that? Well, you know the place I was going to perform at? They decided to cancel. What? Why? Seeing as how we uh, last performed, um, we almost, quote unquote, broke the second floor. Now, I don't know what they meant by that, but apparently we're not going to perform there again tonight. Very unfortunate, but it's whatever. What about you? You seem to be doing nothing around here. What? Are you gonna work on that uh, review? I can't. Besides, I'm busy right now. I think it's best that I should just scrap the whole review as a whole. I've been putting it off for so long that I've been too focused on other things. So I may as well just put it off. Throw it away. Putting it off? Dude, the Batman's been out for like almost two weeks now. I'm sure you have time to still do it. Like, and besides, we're way past giving out spoilers or giving a spoiler warning. So like, I'm sure you can do the review now with full spoilers. I mean, I, I guess, but like, you know, I'm always busy, you know? So I don't have time. Oh, come on. Would you stop using that excuse? You've been using that excuse for the past month now. In fact, I don't remember the last time you even recorded a video. You should record this and you should record it now. Because I'm sick and tired of you moping around and doing nothing. Saying that you're always busy. Come on, man. We both know that you're not busy all the time. So why don't you get busy right now? And by getting busy, I mean by doing this video and putting it out there so that many people can see that we are not a dead channel. All right? All right, fine. I'll do the review. I'll do the review. Oh, thank God. Finally. Well, I guess you better get started then. Well, well what, are, what are you standing there for? Go! Yo, what's good? This is your boy Josh, aka Lil Sweepstakes up in the building. Hold on. There we go. I think we're good now. Hold on. Now, it's been three weeks almost since the Batman released. And let me be real with y'all. I probably should have made this when the movie first came out. But, however, you know, I needed some time. I was busy, actually, most of the time. I needed some time to myself to collect my thoughts on what I had watched. But, uh, yeah, we, we are here today to talk about it. Um, and, my God, was this movie probably one of the best films I've seen this year. Oh, man. I don't even know where to begin. First off, I just want to say that Robert Pattinson killed the role. He killed the role really well. He did it. He, he's he's a top contender for being my favorite Batman. I'm going to be real with y'all. Because, like, that film was probably one of the best pieces of cinema that I've seen. And I've seen many films in my day, you know, like... <laughs> But this one really, uh, it was really good to me. I really liked this one. And it's not like it's a, you know, average movie that I've seen over the years. Like, I've seen movies where it's like, it's got, it's got this, like, style of where, you know, they would insert a joke or two in, like, a serious, like, thing or whatever. 
this movie didn't really do that. This movie didn't really have a lot of jokes. It didn't really have a lot of uh, one-liners or anything like that. It was... To me, that was something that was different. And I actually enjoyed. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> man. I'm actually glad that they didn't really have that many. It, it was... It's supposed to be a DC film. You know, like a dark... You know, DC film, detective stuff, you know, not a lot of funny banter between characters. Oh, man. I'm betting the MCU fans are probably going to get heated when I say that because, like, man. <laughs> but, yo, okay. So what, what else do I got to say about this movie? There's a lot. There is a lot. The Riddler. Now, when you think of The Riddler... You think of a guy who has a hat and a cane. This Riddler is completely different from that. It ain't no Jim Carrey type stuff. Nah, 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 nah. This was probably the best version of the Riddler that I've seen. I actually like this one. Um, <laughs> Paul Dano, Dano, however you say his name, he's he did a phenomenal job of being a you know, psychopathic, you know, character trying to tear down the, um, the governments of the city, of Gotham City, and trying to expose the truth or something like that. I know it's a thing that's been done before, but, like, with the way that this was done here, I liked it. I liked it. It was pretty good. It was, it was... It was pretty good. The, the, this probably is the best version of the Riddler that I've seen so far. And not only that, but he's writing a... The actor is writing a um, comic book for uh, the Riddler. It's called The Riddler Year One, I believe. It's going to tell the story of the Riddler. Um, like, two years before the events of uh, the Batman. So it's a prequel. So I'm excited for that to come out next year. Uh... It's pretty good. What else? So, probably one of the best parts about the film, like the entire film, Zoe Kravitz. Like, she she was... Zoe Kravitz as a whole. I, I don't care, man. Like, it, like that that's my cat woman. I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. Like, yo, she can also be my wife. I do not care, bro. Like, yo, have you seen the promotion material? Like, it's... It's goaded. It's good. No, but like, yo, there. I really liked her portrayal as Catwoman as well. It's uh, it was cool. It was cool for what it was, it, you know. And like, oh man, yo, that one scene where she was just like walking into the club, like, like her bro. Why was she? Why was she walking like that? I mean, it, it was still fire though. It was still fire though. Oh, man. Oh, it's just so many good things about this movie. Alfred. I really liked Alfred in this movie. Andy Serkis. How, 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 is that how you say his name? I don't really know. But, yo, dude is a phenomenal actor. Um, he played his role well as Snoke in Star Wars. Claw in Black Panther. I liked his performance there. Um, and now here. With the Batman as Alfred. And, bro, like, anyone who plays Alfred is a good Alfred. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like, and this, this was a good Alfred. A great Alfred, if I may. Um, but yeah, this is like, this is really good. A really good Alfred. Oh, man. Like, Andy Serkis has never, you know, been a bad, has never played a bad character to me. And that says a lot because he tried his best with Snoke. Even though Star Wars The Last Jedi was trash, he still tried his best to be menacing and stuff like that. It was it was still good for what it was with when it came to trying his best to play a character. Even if a character is not, you know, well written, he still did his best and stuff like that. But yeah, but yeah. I also another character that I liked was the penguin. He was it was pretty crazy with him. Uh I heard he's getting a series on HBO Max. I'm actually eager to check it out. Because, like, a guy like the Penguin, 
getting his own solo series seems like it would be something not many people would be interested in. But I'm actually interested after watching the Batman, you know. It's it was good. It was really good. The the fight scenes were great. Oh my god, was that car chase scene probably the best part of the film. Then there was many good scenes. The opening scene, the uh scene in the club. That that fight scene was really cool. Um Let's see, what other fight scenes were there? There was Batman versus Catwoman. That was only for like a minute or so. Uh, that car chase scene, man. Yo, when Batman was like... Bro, this man was chasing the penguin on a highway. Dude thought that he got he got Batman, bro. Nah, Batman came through with the... Came in with the Batmobile. Going through the flames. Now that that is peak right there, peak, peak stuff right there. It's a lot to say that about a film because like there's a lot of positive things about this film that you know I really liked because this film is probably one of the, my top ten. Well, I don't know if I should put it in my top ten, but. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Because I really enjoyed this film. It's like... I, I mean, I've enjoyed many films. I enjoyed Spider-Man No Way Home. You, you all remember that. And how that was a great film. But I think I might want to put the Batman above it. I don't know. I mean... Should I? I don't know. Because, like... Seeing this film, it was like... It was really... It was really good. But, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, the end fight scene. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Bro, like, when Batman hit that adrenaline, bro, like, it was all, it was, oh, man, it was all over for that guy, bro. Like, it was all over for that guy, for real. <laughs> but, yeah, man, um, I really liked the, the acting in this film. It was great. Batman, you know, Robert Pattinson, like I said before, he's a great Batman. That's, when I first, um, heard that he got casted as Batman, I, I wasn't really sure at first, because, like, I I know that this guy, you know, he's mostly known for his role in Twilight, and as, you know, as someone who despises Twilight, bro, I was not sure about this role for him, and then I watched the film, and I gotta say, dude, after, like, after seeing this, like, I kind of considered Robert Pattinson to be, like, like on my list of favorite actors at this in this very moment um and that says a lot that says a lot because the dude the dude that's been known for the twilight films bro is now known for the dude as batman he's now known as the guy who played batman to me this is this is to me cuz like like i said batman's a good performer well robert pattinson's a good performer jesus christ dude oh man Oh, man, yo, but this, yeah, this film was creepy as hell, man. Like, it was, oh, the videos with the Riddler killing, you know, people, you know, it's like the, hmm, then the letters to Batman, it was crazy. And, oh, bro, that, that, uh, that Riddler, that one scene with the bomb and, you know, that, that Colson guy, bro, that was crazy. That one was crazy. That one was really good. I There's so many good scenes, man. I it's, it's just so good to talk about, man. I've never talked about a movie where I've never had criticisms about it. Now, No Way Home, I will say that I didn't really criticize it. I probably should have criticized it for the CGI a little bit, but still, still a phenomenal film. This, still a phenomenal film. And I don't think they used... How much CGI did they use, actually? Because I don't think they used that much. I know the bat, the, the Batmobile scene. Now, now that that wasn't CGI, from what I was heard, told, and from what I've heard. Oh man! But yo, it was still good. It was still good. It was still baller, man. Oh man. Yeah, the visual effects were really, really nice. If there's one thing I'd like for them to do, I'd like for them to do this. 
like release this film on DVD, and I also would like it to be in black and white. Now that would be baller. That would be probably the best thing that they could do. And you know, not many films in black and white, you know, like in a black and white feature can you know be pulled off very well. But I think this could be pulled off very well. Now that would be that would be nice. Now with Logan, they did that very well. I, I really liked that. I really appreciated that. That was awesome. For this film, the Batman, yeah, they should definitely have that have a, a black and white feature. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. The Batman in black and white. Please make it happen. <laughs> All right, please make it happen. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, that one scene where Batman, you know, punches Jim Gordon. Jim Gordon. I forgot about him. Yo. Oh, shoot. I forgot to talk about him. Okay. I really liked his performance. I don't know what the actor's name is. I know he was the Watcher. Dude, the dude's voice is incredible. I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, like, dude, the dude could be in, could narrate anything and, well, yeah, he could narrate anything and I would watch it. It's kind of like a Morgan Freeman type thing. If he would narrate anything, I'd watch it. But uh, yeah, yeah, this film, he he did great. He did great. I was gonna say when the Batman punched Jim Gordon in the face and then he left, it's not like he didn't disappear like how he usually does in Batman films, where he's like he's there one second and then he and then the next second he's gone. But nah, this man punches him and just straight up dips. Like yo, I'm glad that they did that. Like I'm really glad that they did that. Uh, and to see him, you know, strap up, strap himself up, gliding, you know, in his glide attire, and then he gets hit in the uh, head by a light under a bridge, I think. That I, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna laugh in the theater when I saw that. <laughs> that <laughs> but yeah, man, this was uh, oh man, it's good stuff, good stuff. I really liked, I really liked it. I really liked it. Um. Yeah, it was a it was a really good film. It was a really good film. I w- I'd like to see what they would do next with this film. Um, I think the Joker might be in the next one. Who who really knows if there's a next one? But the Joker was teased in the at the end of the film. And I, the, the the thing about this is that I like that it was not a post credit scene. And I know most films, most superhero films these days, would have a post credit scene to, to to tease the next event. I'm glad that they didn't do that for this film. One being the fact that I don't want to sit in a theater waiting for that, for something like that to happen. I know we're going to get more films like that, but I'm so glad that they didn't do that for this film. Like, I don't think that everything needs to have a post credit scene. And being for the fact that I've been watching a bunch of Marvel movies for many, many years now, I would expect something like this, but this is not the case here. And I'm glad about that. <laughs> I'm so glad about that, actually. But uh, yeah, man, it's this film definitely in my top top five this year. Um, let's see. Yeah, cause yeah, I've only wa- yeah so far. I've watched a couple films this year. Uh, Uncharted. I know Morbius is coming out. I'm not gonna watch that. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm not really hyped for that. I don't really care. Uh, Sonic is coming out next week, well, in two weeks. I'm definitely going to be making a review about that. Um, I like the first Sonic movie, so that was, so yeah. We got Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Now, that's a big one, because who knows what could happen in that film. That film is going to smack, man. And is it going to be better than the Batman? I don't know. I don't, I do not know. But one thing I know for sure is that Regardless, it is going to slap. It is going to slap. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Now, if there's one thing that I got to say that I didn't like about the Batman film, is that it ended. That's all I got to say. No, I'm playing. No, I don't don't have anything bad to say about it, really. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say. It, it was really, it was really good. It was really good. There's no criticisms for me for this film. And I, and there's times where I don't 
where I criticized things, but like, I don't think I criticized anything about this film. There wasn't anything bad about it. The visuals were great to me. I, I appreciated the fight scenes. The choreography was great. But yeah, there, there's nothing bad about this film. Like, and the score. Oh my god, bro. This film has the best soundtrack in, in history, man. I do not care. I really liked the Batman's soundtrack in this movie. Like, the score for this film? Like, bro. And the, 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 it hits for me even more because the theme, the Batman theme, like, that theme reminds me of the Imperial March. And I think that that was what they were going for. That was what it was inspired by, I believe. It Because, it, like, you know, seeing as how the, it has different differences, but it's similar to the Imperial March. That's what I really liked about it. <laughs> I really liked it. I I forgot who um who made the score, but I think it was Michael G I don't know how to spell that last name. I really don't know how to spell that last name. Or well, just say that last name, but you know who I'm talking about. The score for this movie was great. And it's something that I'm probably going to use for some of my stuff. If I happen to make skits or movies again, I'm probably going to use something like that. <laughs> so expect that to happen. Because I'm thinking about making a movie. A movie. I don't know what it's going to consist of. But I'm going to need some some actors. And some stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But oh man. Yeah. The, the, the soundtrack was great. The movie was great. Everything about it was great. If I had to rate this movie. As a DC film, I'm, I'm going to rate it as a 10 out of 10. Because this is probably one of the best DC films that I've seen in a very, very long time. And I don't, I don't, I don't really watch a lot of DC films. I'm going to be real. I'm sorry. I never watched The Dark Knight. I apologize for that. So I can't really make comparisons. I can't really make, you know, is this better than this or whatever. I... I, I and I don't know what it is. I, I never really watched the Dark... I don't know why I never watched The Dark Knight. I don't know why. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. As a DC film, 10 out of 10 for me. As a film, like, in general, I gotta give it a 9. I have to give it a 9. It was... Because there's other films out there that I really enjoy, but... You know... And I've given, you know, lower scores. Probably like an 8 or something, but... This film gets a 9. A clean 9. And I would give it a 10 out of 10, but there's other films that I think are goaded out there that I that I really like, so yeah. Okay. I think there's I think that's all that I need to say about it. Um Like I said, Robert Pattinson, he's a good Batman. Zoe Kravitz is a good Catwoman. Apparently she played Catwoman in the Lego Batman movie. So this is not her first rodeo, I guess? I don't really know. But, like, yeah. The Penguin. He was a really good character. I think he was played by the guy who played Bullseye in Daredevil 2003. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Like I said, the Riddler. The Riddler was very menacing. Uh, he was a really good character. And, uh... Jim Gordon. Really liked him. Alfred. I really liked him. That's it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. That's... Oh, man. What a film, man. What a film. And the next review that I'm going to do, like I said, the Sonic 2 movie. Um, I'm definitely going to be reviewing that when it comes out. Uh, hopefully, I'll make the review when it uh, happens. But, uh, yeah. So, I've got really nothing else left to say. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up because it helps your boy out. If you want to support the channel, you can. My PayPal is in the description below. So if you want to donate or anything like that, you can. If you want to follow our socials, check that out as well. That's also in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.